G'day folks, welcome to Scrubby Mate's YouTube channel and we're bringing you a new map um, it might, be, might not be so new to a lot of you people out there but we're looking at Port of Westphalica and it's version 6 with all the bells and whistles and we're just going to go for a bit of a flight around in our helicopter and we're going to have a look at this map now you have to excuse my helicopter flying skills and there goes a biplane down there now this is quite a large map and we're just going to fly around and I'm not going to say anything for a few minutes because it's quite noisy
<laughs> well, that was a bit of a quick trip. How's that guy invading my airspace? Well, here we are at the farm. This is the farmhouse, the farmyard, and all the the sheds and stuff. Now, this is a 800 meg download, 808, and this version six now has uh, its um, seasons ready. It has um, the sugar cane add on into it and I must say it is quite intriguing this map um, I have looked up other channels to find out more about this when I first come across it and there's not a whole lot out there that's in English so um, unfortunately that's the way it is and what we're looking at here is a whole heap of what is termed to be fabric. Now, the word fabric is factory. Okay? Now, there's 20 odd fa uh, factories on this board. It's digital. And on the board, as you can see, you can't read it. It's not in English. Okay? But it is easy to figure out. Wasser, we're looking at that oop, the top one there. Um, it's got Wasser, you know, like I can't even say the words, but what you want is uh, the wheat, the carrot, oil. Um, when you come down the page, you've got water, compost, torf. Torf is a peat, and that will supply the garden and it gives you cherries and so on and so on there's quite a few there and if you have the farming tablet in your mods folder it'll uh, when you activate it it'll show you where all the different factories are as well so that's a bit of a help and we have a, a, a bale shredder here There's quite a, a fair bit of things to consider on this map. Um, that's all your stores. We got wheat, barley, wraps, as you know, is canola, corn, soya bean, suma blooming, which is sunflower, and then we'll go into the um, the tsukuruban, which is your sweet beets or sugar beets, um, your potatoes, your carotin. And then we go into salat, for example, which is lettuce and your hops and, you know, malts, your malt. <laughs> yeah, so it, it is easier to figure out than what you think. Just need a bit of patience with it. Um, I have tested this map out on version 3.4 and um, I spent about 60, 70 hours on it. There is a couple of things that you need to be aware of, though. Um, there is a storage center down here. If I pop down, let's bring up this map. If I pop down and we'll visit the shop because it's pretty close to where I want to show you this. Now, it's not that the map doesn't work. It does work. But what you need to be aware of is the type of mod that you have. Now, I brought a truck into here. Now this gate wouldn't open for that truck and I thought well okay what's going on um, because I did store some cherries in here with a different sort of truck and I thought oh well I'll just use a different truck and get the, get the plums you know and anyway as, a, as it so happens the other truck didn't um, the gate didn't recognize the truck so I thought it was the map but it's not the map, it's actually the, the mod because I ended up bringing a tractor down here which was the in-game tractor that the map came with and the gate opened up. The other thing I thought it may have been too is the opening hours. Now, a lot of these factories have opening hours and closing times. So if you don't get your goods in uh, within those times, you won't 
you won't you just won't um, an interesting aspect of this game too the speed cameras uh, so yeah you do get charged quite heavily for speeding and if you're playing it in hard mode like I am going to um, it is not worth losing 3,000 euros just for the sake of being over the speed limit um, yeah <laughs> you know stick to the paddocks otherwise um, just stay off the road and you may get away with it there are um, uh, highway patrols as well so yeah just watch your speed limit <laughs> um, if you are playing it in hard mode you lose your money quite quick now also with this um, we have a compost master here and uh, unfortunately the uh, in-game fuel tanker doesn't refill this um, you have to get the universal mod unfortunately and use the fuel tanker from there it is quite a hefty price it's over 80,000 or around about so um, you may have to think about your game strategy there because uh, yeah so in the beginning it's important to how you um, how you start your game off and what sort of um, uh, goals you set for yourself it's just a little storage area the other aspect to this um, is how the trains run uh, the way the map is laid out you have uh, well there's your train map okay took one is train one and took two is um, train two and they both have different routes now the Hof, Hof lager is uh, well it's a lager isn't it it's like where you store stuff and the BGA lager is where you can take well is it written up here I don't remember now here we go the BGA lager is a store uh, what's it? a store spot that's on the train track that you can take uh, either the Huxloff the soybean Huxloff is chaff uh, the Zuckerrauben is of course the, um, uh, the, the the sweet beets and sunflower canola and it can be transported down to where the BGA there's another uh, rail side storage area and from there you have to truck it into the BGA uh, the chaff that is now this is the dunga which is your fertilizer if you uh, is it left click or right click on your mouse it'll open your drive there it is where you back your truck in up into here and you dump in your uh, digestate and out comes the white powdery stuff which is your solid fertilizer uh, this one here is your liquid fertilizer uh, manufacturing point I guess uh, water is added your dry fertilizer and uh, you extract your liquid fertilizer for your sprayer yeah this one here is um, for your seed production this one here will create your compost as uh, you may know from Kleinhau and this is where you store it here uh, the torf, torf again is your peat, your peat moss and the peat moss area is uh, a nice place to go visit um, your starting equipment's very basic which is good a um, couple of trailers, forage wagons um, I may decide to, well I'll decide when I start playing it Okay, and our harvester is a, a Massey, which is hiding around here somewhere. Massey harvester. And we also have the, the cabbage storage, the sweet potato 
uh, yeah, sugar potato, sorry, and uh, uh, all the other cabbages, carrots, and onions can be stored here on the farm. Uh, okay, we have um, uh, looks like our silage chaff, our uh, TMR storage is here. Um, we have the two silage bunkers here that we can utilize. We have a, um, a hay silage converting tower. We have a machine here that will do washed potatoes which will be handy for the, the gnocchi factory. It will also uh, deposit um, the compost here. Um, this is the old 2013 style where you ha actually have a loading board and I think, I don't know, five, six pallets can get done here before it'll stop. Uh, once you remove the pallets, it'll keep producing the washed potatoes. You dump your grass into one end and it'll dry it out and come out this end as hay. We have our manure and silage storage right here on the farm, which is quite close. And interesting enough, hello Rover. Where's your legs? Whoa, whoa, to you two. Okay, we can grow tobacco and hops. And what they've added on into this map, if I can bring up the hut again. There we go. And extend the map out. So, okay, over at uh, where are we? Near field 49 that we own. I might just go the other map, I think. Okay, field 49 is ours. Um, the the previous versions didn't have the rum factory here. Um, now we've got the sugar cane added. All these little white spots, if I take that away, take that away, okay. All this writing that's in white is where the factories are. This is a grass meadow. There should be three of them. That's a grass meadow, to, uh, uh, that one and this one. Um, with the seasons mod, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're not going to start off with any grass. So, but at least um, you can once they do start to come on you've got extra grass to mow so uh, let's see BGA is here and this white lines that you see running along the tracks here that's the railway line runs all the way across here there's a bridge here that you can cross, a very narrow bridge, so you can, <laughs> you got to watch it there, you, you could lose your load there. Uh, okay, we have other sections of the map. Down here is um, the paper factory, uh, your wood log cell point down here that you can send the train off um, and get uh, extra money for your logs. The refinery down here, now uh, the um, the trigger points there, they all do work, they're, they're just very sensitive, um, you do have to wait, you know, like keep trying, don't be disheartened, but they all do work, um, I've tried many times with different types of trailers and uh, body trucks, uh, I, I did get frustrated because there was the, the middle the middle bane wouldn't let me unload and finally it, it let me unload so they do work um, the sugar factory is right beside it as well like in that same compound where you take your sugar beets down there and it converts it all to sugar um, you'll need water there as well we have the milk max up in here um, the milk max uh, the unload point there it works but you have to uh, be selective there again on what, how you retrieve your goods. Um, not all the mods work.
some of them will um, what was it I think the tipper let me do it eventually I did have a hook lift there and I tried a different hook lift that took the milk and the yogurt and eventually I did get it and there is different spots um, there's the cherry and orchard farm I think that one there is uh, for memory the salad mixer you where anyway i leave that journey up to you the the bakery up the very nice looking map it has a very uh, for me anyway um it, it's appealing and i must say that testing this map in the, the version before this one it, it was a, a, a good time to do um and within using the manure mod um, it, it'll double your fertilization as well so um, I'll probably be starting off with pigs to start with and if you're using mods which I am going to do this time um, lower animal prices is probably going to be the way to go and all sorts of different things uh, this is your grass, your hay, straw, and tobacco storage points, and all the storage point. Getting straw and hay, yep. All the storage, uh, storage that you do on the farm will show in your storage columns. Now, with that said. Um, there is quite a few cell points as well As you can see a full page practically so <laughs> The choice is yours in what you want to focus on um, Yeah, so uh, this map does have a lot to offer um, We have the oats the rye the spelt which is dinkle Okay um, yeah, I can't quite read it, but it looks like trickle, trickle, uh, trickle. Anyway, um, hops. Then we go into the onions, the carrot, the lettuce, which is salad. They call it salad. The um, red cabbage, the the, sh uh, the sugar sh sugar loaf cabbage, which is white cabbage. Yeah, can't quite make that out. Is it tobacco? Then you go into your hydrated milk. Um, in hard mode, look at this quickly. Thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah, we're looking here at that cell point there for for hydrated milk as uh, against the normal price. Yeah, look at this. Seventeen hundred dollars at the supermarket. Yeah, so, uh, you know, and, and this is set in hard mode, it's not in easy, so it's worthwhile doing in hard mode if you want the challenge. It looks like uh, cherry cake, cherry cheesecake perhaps, 2,600, that must be a specialty item, must take a while to make. And so beer, uh, we have the, uh, I can't quite read that. And then we go into our compost so uh, yeah, I think it is important in the way you start if you're going to start with seasons I will be starting with the seasons mod I will be starting it in hard mode and I will have crop destruction on so yeah it'll be the last map for this this time round and because it won't be long and we'll probably have the new 2019 so this will do me till then this one here is your grain storage area once you uh, right click on your mouse at this spot here it'll open the gates and once you quit your game and come back in these gates do remain open so you're not having to do that all the time there was something else I was going to show you, but I don't remember now. Anyway, um, there's your standard starting equipment. 
I think the only tractor I'll probably keep is the case and perhaps uh, perhaps the Deutz there um, we do have a, a manure spreader I saw down here that's your water water if you have the free water mod on knock yourself out so they've changed this spot here this used to be yeah this was not as big as this shed this shed was like a um, like a lean-to similar to that one there so they've enclosed all this shed and added lights haha <laughs> sweet nighttime work as well um, okay uh, just a couple more things here I'm not gonna show you quite everything spoiler alert spoiler alert so this is your mixing stations for your cows and pigs add in the appropriate ingredients and come along with your front end loader or even with a if you wanted to I guess with a conveyor and unload it out um, okay that's what I was going to show you now your milk with the universal pack um, you do have a way of taking the milk away and dealing with it yourself um, you can either store it in a 200,000 litre dumpy container or you can actually take it to the milk max or do whatever you like with it there's plenty of factories with it if you're not too sure um, just come back and have a look at your factory board and see where it takes milk and find it on your map and take it there lots of luck it's quite a large map so you'll be doing a fair bit of traveling um, this is your seed point here yeah, seed and fertilizer so if you're going to produce your own seed it may pay you to find out or get your own little spot for the map where you can instead of coming all the way back to the farm you can actually transport your seed and fertilizer closer to the field or out in the field yeah so and the cows are quite nice so that's the other thing too with the add-on let me just have a quick look in the shop I have um, selected the um, the platinum add-on so you can actually do see that gives you all the mods there for the sugar now what I'm not too sure about and I think what I'll because I've only just uh, opened this map up and I've just swapped out uh, I've just swapped out the map and I did have version 3.4 or 4 or whatever open animal log now now what I'm thinking of does this have no okay we don't have the platinum cows it's our stock standard cows okay I thought it, we might have had a different choice of breed okay we don't okay um, so this is a, a map which you have to unfold or unzip rather and you'll have three files in there it'll have the machinery needed to harvest the um, the carrot the onion yadda da, yadda da. and you'll need to put both of them you will need I did try to go into my test map which was a, uh, a previous version um, yeah I'm thinking that you need to start a new saved game um, I, I did have some difficulties with swapping out the old map that I had and put in this version um, it just froze the game you could hear the animals the birds and everything the traffic was moving and all that but it wouldn't allow me to walk around I uh, uh, I actually um, 
tried to tab into a vehicle it wouldn't let me um, yeah so unless you're luckier than me you um, go for it but I had to start a new save game with this map so yeah uh, if you do have this map yeah, just leave a comment and let me know what you think I think it'll be an exciting map to play and what we're going to do is just finish this little session once I pick up enough revs we'll have a fly around Perfect three point landing. Well, guys, another thing here is um, this is the sand quarry. This is where you need to park your your tipper truck trailer, and it fills up with sand. This your fuel, and once you have a lorry load full or a trailer full. You can either drive it away yourself or you can dump it in this spot here store it up you can uh, uh, regain your sand from there that tip point with a truck and trailer or you can bring the train along whoa <laughs> and uh, <laughs> park the train under here and take it away nice looking map and there's plenty to do it's noisy isn't it definitely plenty to do maybe some fishing would have been good too just to end off the yeah might be too much eh yeah so this is not a, a a new map it has been around for a little while and I think oh, I've seen it a few times I think one day one day well today is the day okay that's it from me and I uh, hope you would like to uh, follow on with the progress here on Port of West Valica and uh, bye for now.